Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Let's just jump right in here, start a new game. I've actually played a fair amount of this game. I played it on my Xbox 360 and then it red ringed on me. So rather than get it fixed or get a new one, I decided to just make the switch to a console game, or not console, PC gaming, which is kind of new for me because I've always been a console gamer. Um, we didn't even have a PC in my house until I was like 18 years old. But I am able to play on my Xbox controller, so that feels pretty right in my hands. And most of the games that I really want to play are available on PC anyhow. It just seems like an easier way to keep everything all organized. You know, I don't have to have a bunch of discs lying around or anything. It's just all on the computer. Uh, let's see, as per normal with an Elder Scrolls game, we're starting out as a prisoner. Here's our fellow happy compatriots. Hey guys, how's it going? And this is a pretty fantastic game. I mean, everybody's heard about it. Everyone's got to know. It's really awesome. I'm finally awake. Yeah? You were trying to cross the border, right? Walk right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. A thief, eh? Close. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, they could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the storm cloaks the Empire wants. Oh, you just admitted to stealing a horse. It sounds an awful lot like you should be here. <laughs> I like that he keeps driving it home. You're a thief. Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. They captured you. Oh, God. Where are they taking us? No, we're good, I'm sure. Where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Well, you're a horse thief. What'd you expect? What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be your own. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. And such a credit to them you are. Please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looked like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. Nothing to contribute? This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from wonder if Velod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny, when I was a boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so Everyone turned out to watch this. Why do you think we're stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. All right, we're going to face our death bravely, eh? Not that guy. It doesn't matter if we're not rebels. You're still a criminal. Yeah. It's not a mistake. You're a thief. Their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. There he is. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylaf of Riverwood. No care of Rorik's death. That's you, buddy. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Come on, man. Just face it with some bravery. I think they are. I don't know how he thought this was going to work out. No, I don't feel like running. I'll be fine right here. Who are you? Me? 
well. I am going to be ignored. And this might sound kind of silly, but I know that there's a big part of this storyline that's all about the rebellion going on. Like they were just talking with uh, Jarl Ulf Ulfric there, leading the rebellion versus the Imperials and stuff. You can be any race you want to be. There's some cool stuff like Khajiit, Argonians, all these kind of fun. But for me, I feel like the, if you're any of those other ones, then you're kind of like an outsider. Whereas if you're a Nord, it's more like this is your story. This is your heritage and your people. And you've got to make a decision about standing up and rebelling or going with the Empire. You know, what's the best for Skyrim? So it just feels a little more immersive to me to be a Nord. So that's the one we're choosing. Let's see. We will be a female because I'm female. And I don't mind role-playing a guy sometimes. But when I have the option, I generally prefer to be female. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just leave this preset and maybe mess around with it a bit. Uh, we'll leave her. Nords are fairly light-skinned people living up here in the cold in the north, so we'll leave them there. Wait. Yeah, I intend on... When I played last time on my own on my Xbox, I did a lot of ranged and sneaking, which is kind of my preferred play style, but that's sort of boring to watch. It, it takes a long time. I sneak through dunge dungeons. I pick people off bit by bit it, it takes forever so i think what i'm going to do here instead is i'm going to dual build and just melee just run right into the middle of everything i want to use a mace and a i could do a sword but i think i'm going to do an axe yeah because that sounds kind of ferocious to me so we want is brawny a chick as we can possibly be so we'll keep the weight all the way up there now there are there are just so many options here it's actually a little overwhelming for me the first time i played i tried to make a character who looked kind of like myself because I thought that was fun. But there's just so many choices. And I don't even understand necessarily what all of them do. Like we'll see something in it first. Let's pick a cool scar. I think I like just this one down the cheek. Yeah, that's good. Oh, war paint for sure. Pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely want something that goes on the eyes. Just the eyes? Nah, I like a little more than that. Kind of like the one stripe. Yeah, let's go one stripe. What color? That might be pretty good. Okay, not the straight up purple. That's a bit much. But maybe, yeah, this kind of, that looks good. So yeah, here we have nose height, nose length, jaw width, jaw height, jaw forward, cheap. There's just so many options. Which is really cool if you want to take a lot of time and really make it look just so, but I just don't care that much. Um, widen out that jaw a little bit, I think. I can't even really tell a difference here. Some fairly high cheekbones. That's good. Eyes, I think, will go... Do we really care about the eye shape? It was probably fine how it was. That'll do. Uh, and let's color. Well, brown's good. To lower width is fine. Eh, we're good. Okay, brows. Maybe a little bit more than that. That's fine. Nice low brows, kind of like that. And I think that's good. Mouth, there's just so many choices. What kind of matches the paint? Yeah, and hair. You could go with the braids. That short one's just kind of boring. 
All right, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Kind of want to get going. Seems a little better. Ooh, Mohawk. Yeah, we'll just go Fearless Jan. No, let's do something with some braids. <laughs> or we could be bald. Now let's go, maybe even what we started with might just be the one. This makes more sense. The bangs it looks kind of nice, but if she's a warrior, she doesn't want to risk her hair getting in her face. So this is better. What color do we want? That'll do. All right. Yep. And we will name our character Lavinia. Fantastic. You picked a bad time to come home to Skyrim, Kinsman. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Kill her anyway. Forget the list. She goes to the block. Yep. By all those Captain. I'm sorry. At least you'll die here in your homeland. Oh well, that's some consolation, I guess. And at this point, I still can't control the character myself yet. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. And now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Uh, what's oh, up, guys? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last right. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and serve his own. <laughs> that guy's kind of awesome. I don't care about this crap. Let's just do it. Gets right up there. Yeah, he's not messing around. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. You say the same. Guy who got shot in the back. Take note. If you gotta be executed, this is a much better way to go. At least you got some dignity. Who's shouting? As fearlessly dead as he was in life. Did you hear that? Not really. I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Why is it me next? What about these other fellas? And they're not even gonna clear the head out of the basket. This is you might be able to fit my head in there too. You're gonna have to do something after that, because the basket's gonna fill up. Uh, a dragon right above us. No, it's not in the clouds. It is right there. Yeah, good luck with that, guys. Oh, oops. Stand up. Stand up. You can do this. Well, all right. Let's get going. Is that they could the legends be true? Legends After my vision could clear, that'd be nice. There we go. We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. All right, then. We just need to. Oh. Well, we're not going that way. What do you propose, buddy? That sounds safe. Towards you, Hadvar, the guy who told me to uh, step up to the block, it was my turn. 
Aún. Alright, Hadvar. Let's get moving then. Stay close to the wall. Hmm. Quickly, follow me. I don't even know where you went, guy. It's you and me, prisoner. Stay close. What happened? <laughs> All right, where did you want me to go over here? Oh, into the keep. Okay, I suppose Dregs is me. I hope the dragon takes you to Sovngarde. We are going with Rayloff, rather than stick with the people who are trying to kill us. I can cut you loose inside. Come on. Sounds like a plan. Uh, come on, game. There we go. Now then, Rayloff, if you'll cut me loose, please. As promised. We'll meet again in Sovereign Guard, brother. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon. No doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. We better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yes, please. There you go. Thank you. you. May as well take Gunyer's gear. He won't be needing it anymore. Thank you, Gunyer. All right. Axe, that's a decent start. And put on boots instead of foot wraps. All right. Get that ah, looking good. Get that axe as he swings. I'm going to see if I can find somewhere. Ah, this one's locked. Let's see about that gate. Well, how about this gate? No way to open this from outside. What do you propose we do then? Um, where is there really to hide? All right, bring it, Imperials. Hurrah! I totally missed him. Um. Stamina is low already. Okay, there's one down. Let's loot her body, let him take care of the other one. And there's the key. How handy. Uh, yeah, we can carry a ton more. Let's take all his stuff, too. What's down this way? I don't want that wooden bowl. Do we have anything else useful? Oh, empty. I said that clearly if I'd have looked before I hit the button. What about this one? Helmet and some gold. Alright, yeah, that's pretty decent. Ooh, iron sword on the weapon rack. Alright. Now then, Rayloff, you were saying something about go open that gate. Oh, and that must be to uh, put that cake down. All right, let's do it. That's it. Come on, let's get out of here before the dragon brings the whole tower down on our heads. Hang on, I'm trying to get some. Where's... What's going on, cabbage? All right, I don't actually want cabbage because it's kind of heavy, but maybe we'll eat it at some point. It'll be fine. Oh, I do want to. Check out all of this stuff we picked up. I think we're going to go heavy armor. We're going to need to because the plan is to melee. So we're going to be taking a lot of damage. 
Okay, what about... Yeah, there's a nice heavy helmet. How are we looking now? Yeah! Look out. Oh, well, we're not going that way. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. Hey guys! Alright, we still got lots of weight we can carry, so. Alright, let's take a look then. There's one. Some salt. Wine, that's always important. Oh, it's in the cupboard. We do not want the tankard or wooden plates. All of that. And here's another one. Get that too. Plus the salt. But not the wooden bowl. Alright, looks good. Shall we continue on, Rayloff? Let's get moving. Let's do. Get out of here. Oh, did you kill one of our storm cloaks? He sure did. Oh, and he's got an assistant too. Um, let's see. We'll take that. Maybe the boots. Bracers. We'll leave the dagger. Ooh, nice. Well, let's check it out. See if you can get it open with some picks. You might need that gold. One. Great sword. Oh, wait, 16 pounds. We're going to leave that. Take it out. Grab anything useful. Okay. Yeah, I know how to do this game. You got to position the pick and then try moving just a little bit. There we go. Well, let's go. Ooh, spell tone. Now let's take all that stuff. And it just looks like bones in here, but we're going to open it regardless because it's good to get the experience. And it's a pretty easy lock. Yeah, nothing there. And I think we've got one more. There it is. We'll get this one as well. Fantastic. All right. Anything here? This one will open as well. There we go. Lock picking to 16. Fantastic. Oh, this one too. Oh. Broke a pick. Well, it's bound to happen. Okay, this looks like the spot. Yeah, we'll take that bone meal. You can keep your ragged robes. That's just fine. Oh, you're another person on our team. Okay. This way. All right. I'll take the lead, Rayloff. Don't worry about it. Well, you're not going to be killed by a dragon. You're going to be killed by storm cloaks. <laughs> Rayloff, don't get in the way, please. I'll take those arrows. They don't weigh anything. Uh, and I'm going to stop just picking everything up because we're kind of getting there on the weight. Well, we do have that cabbage. Oh. 
Oh, I did want to put that mace on too. Let's do that. Can we put one on each hand? I don't think we can. Or can we? Oh yeah, look at that. Fantastic. No, but I do... Double maces is pretty good, too. But I think we're going to do mace and uh, X. Yeah. We should possibly do a shield, but I just don't want to. This is better. This will inspire more fear in our enemies. Oh, guys, you're not even giving me a chance here. Let me get in on the action, too. In case Ulfric comes through, Talos guide the both of you. All right, what do we got over here? Jump. Eh, 35 pounds. It's so heavy. Okay, this is where we came in, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think there's anything back there. Nope. We're tucked by this grate. Oh, okay. We'll keep going, Rayloff. In this first episode, I'm going to let run a little longer. Generally, I'm going to keep them to about 25 minutes, but I want to get out of this beginning Let's dungeon. This There's not too much left of it. Come on. There we are. That's just fine. Run up here, grab these goods. Coin purse, fantastic. Okay, and that just goes back to the area that collapsed. So let's run ahead with Rayloff. Don't worry, I'm right here, buddy. Another coin purse. That doesn't go anywhere. Well, then we'll have to go this way. Yes, we better try this way. Well, I see some spiders up here. Get ready for it, Rayloff. Let's just charge in. Rawr! Yeah, they're going down nice and fast. Fantastic. Let's get all their venom. Oh! Another one of you, eh? Oh yeah, I should probably help Rayloff out. Rayloff, they're, they're not that tough. I'm just one-shotting most of them. They are kind of creepy, I'll give you that. Desiccated corpse. Ooh, eight's gold. That's always nice. Was this another one? Skeever tail. Gross. All right, buddy, moving along. I see a skeleton over here. Who's maintaining these uh, charcoal piles here? These fires. Hold up! There's a bear just ahead. See her? I do. I'd rather not tangle with her right now. Let's try to sneak by. Just take it nice and sweet, and watch where you step. Let's try to sneak up on it. That sounds Boy, like a plan. You can take this bow. I take her by surprise. No, I'm just going to get her. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. Okay. The lead is we're just attacking the bear. See, that wasn't anything to be scared of, Rayloff. It was just fine. Where did he even go? Ah, whatever. Moving along. There he is. So worried about this bear. All right.
point over here. And there's the exit. Hooray! Let's step out into the world to Skyrim. There we go. And there it is in all its beauty. Wait, for what? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Well, that's a good thing, right? No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Better clear out of here. Alrighty. Where do you suggest we go? My sister, Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. Sounds like a plan. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Well, so long then, Rayloff. I will go check in with your sister, Gerder. But we will do that next time. I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll run up, we'll talk to his sister, and we'll just jump in and start exploring Skyrim.